Yeah, so I just thought it was uh, absolutely essential that I share my thoughts and opinions about this particular subject with my not very many subscribers. It's kind of about what passes for entertainment nowadays or what is popular in society or whatever. I suppose it comes from a place of uh, jealousy and envy, this video, because I am incredibly bitter and hate-filled as my YouTube channel is not very popular at all. I'm joking about the bitter and hate-filled, I'm quite a happy guy to be fair. My YouTube channel is not a massive part of my life, although I suppose like a lot of people I've had a dream of um, being able to make a living off social media, not like a vlogger or anything like that. I mean, I mainly make music. It's not particularly good, which is probably why I'm not mega popular, but I think, you know, I have a little bit of talent. I kind of understand that the reason I am not particularly popular is because I guess I'm comparatively dull and monotone compared to a lot of YouTubers. My production value is low. I don't spend loads of time making these videos. Like I don't have a catchphrase or a cool intro video or anything. My YouTube channel has been on the go for over three years now, I think, and I only have 42 subscribers, which is, I feel it's kind of low. I feel like I possibly deserve more, but that might make me sound arrogant. Anyway, what the people seem most drawn to nowadays, like what are the most popular things on social media? They seem to be dancing is one of the main things that people seem to be entertained by. And yeah, I can totally understand that. I'm very impressed by good dancers. I wish I could dance. I mean, I have a sense of rhythm. I used to play drums a bit and I was kind of decent. So I understand rhythm. It doesn't necessarily translate well to dancing though so you know, I used to love Strictly Come Dancing don't watch it so much nowadays it's too happy I think everybody's so like happy and that makes me sound like a very miserable person which I'm not but it's fake I think it's fake fake happiness maybe it isn't I don't know maybe it's genuine but it's TV isn't it everything's so like PC and Everybody's just got to pretend to be happy. Um, you know, when the professional dancers get paired with who is obviously the worst celebrity dancer, they're still just like, oh yeah, get in, yeah, that's exactly who I wanted. But obviously they didn't. But they just have to pretend to be like that because they can't be like, oh, what? Sticking me with that fat twat or whatever. Yeah, so it's a bit fake anyway. Digressed slightly. Um, you have to be quite arrogant to be a dancer. Confident, obviously, to get on stage and dance, but there's a fine line between confidence and arrogance. And I think like, you know, some of the facial expressions dancers pull, so smug. They just say, yeah, I am fantastic. And to be fair to them, a lot of them are, I'm thinking of, I don't even know the names of these people that I watch sometimes inadvertently um, on Facebook Reels and TikTok and stuff. But yeah, it's just, I'm quite understated and maybe, I don't know, I just can't jive with that because I'm not like that. It's probably a problem that I have. Anyway, that's enough about dancing because apart from the outright arrogance that some of them have where they think they are the shit and in a lot of cases I guess they are it's very impressive unless it's just like one of those videos where they're dancing um, to some random little snippet of music in the kitchen or something and I don't know I'm sure some people understand where I'm coming from so the next thing that pisses me off is um, miming along to music in a little crappy short video or something. Now, here's one of my main shortcomings as a YouTuber, I feel, if you could even call me that. I am not an attractive teenage girl. I'm not even attractive, to be fair, so I know I'm not a hideous freak, or I don't think I am, hopefully, but 
it really helps to be attractive and it really helps if you're an attractive teenage girl and so many of them play on this I guess like in any form of media visual media females have always played on their attractiveness I mean pornography has been around for a long time isn't it like playboy has been around for a while Marilyn Monroe photo shoots, stuff like that. I mean, I might be getting a bit too deep for this video. Really, I was just gonna go on a rant about how shit my YouTube channel is and why I think it might be, but... Yeah, like, so this mime into music by attractive women, it's mainly attractive women, I mean, it's, it's everybody does it, but when did that start to be good? When I was at school, if I'd have uploaded a video of myself miming to a song and like being smug and <laughs> arrogant about it. I'd have got the shit kicked out of me at school <laughs> and that doesn't make it right but I'm just saying like times have changed haven't they? It's like not far off standing in front of the mirror with like a brush and pretending to sing along to a song. There's nothing wrong with that. Just do you need to upload a video of yourself doing that? But then again do you need to upload a video of yourself doing anything? Do I need to upload a video of myself doing this? No. It's probably because I want attention, I guess. Um, so maybe I'm a hypocrite for thinking that way. But it doesn't just stop there because it's not just miming along to music. Sometimes it's miming along to like a quote from out of a song. Somebody talking and quoting a piece of dialogue from music or something out of a movie even. And that is somehow very popular as well. It seems to be most commonly attractive young females that are the most popular. It's no coincidence, is it? So I'm a musician. Uh, I use that term loosely because I don't make any money from it. But I do like to play music. Now you get people playing guitar online and just recording themselves playing along to a song or something. And again, it's mainly, not mainly, I guess, very often, Attractive females who realise they're attractive so they wear like skimpy outfits and then it's like a teenage girl playing power chords along to Green Day or something and it's just like whoa man like power chords but I dare say people who like that sort of thing are desperate sexually frustrated men most of them anyway and that leads me on to my next topic which is ASMR right so I used to be into ASMR before it was such a big thing and I didn't realise that other people were into that sort of thing. But even that, like most things, has become virtually like pornography. Attractive women capitalising on their appearance. Dressing up in nurses' outfits and stuff like that. I mean, fair play to them. If you have something, you might as well flaunt it, I guess, is one way of looking at it. And a lot of people say, well, you're just jealous because you are not good looking or you're not a successful YouTuber and you're probably right, so I can't disagree with that. But is any of what I say wrong? Probably. If you disagree with me, then um, everybody's entitled to their own opinion, aren't they? So I have mine. That's just what I'm sharing. And nobody will watch this anyway, so it doesn't even matter. I just wanted to get it out there, so... And I've got a new camera as well, like a Sony ZV-1F. Um, it's just like a entry-level vlogging cam. Um, just thought I'd try it out by ranting for a while, talking absolute shit. So if you've got to the end, thank you. And uh, subscribe if you want to. Thanks. See you later.